Permutation, NPR, is the number of ways to arrange R out of N different items. Whenever you see the word, arrange, permutation must be used. Those N items have to be different. And the order of those R items matters. This means, if two items are taken out of five different items, then 1 2 and 2 1 are two different ways. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. There are 20 students. Take any five students and arrange them in a line. How many possibilities are there? We see the word, arrange. It means the order of those five students matters. So we must use permutation here. And the answer is 20 P5. 50 students participate in a competition and could win first, second or third prize. How many ways of first, second and third prize winners can there be? The order of prize matters. You win first prize and I win second prize, is different from, you win second prize and I win first prize. Therefore the answer is 50 P3. We also introduce a new notation here, factorial. This will be used later when we calculate permutation. It's basically an exclamation mark. N factorial is multiply 1 all the way to N. N factorial is N times N minus 1 factorial, because N minus 1 factorial is 1 multiplied all the way to N minus 1. 0 factorial is defined as 1. In order to calculate permutation, we also need to know the multiplication rule. Suppose you have 5 jackets and 6 pairs of trousers. You choose to jacket and trousers independently, meaning no trousers have to go with a particular jacket. If you have a rule of red jacket must go with yellow trousers, then this rule doesn't apply here. You can match jacket and trousers freely. So how many ways can you wear? There are 5 jackets and each jacket can match a separate pair of trousers. And there are 6 trousers. Therefore the answer is 5 times 6. Multiplication rule says, if there are P choices for A, Q choices for B, and A and B are chosen independently, the total number ways of choosing A and B is P times Q. Now we can calculate permutation. We know if we take 3 out of 20 students and arrange them in a line, the total number of ways is 20 P3. So there are 3 positions to fill. The first one is marked in red, the second one yellow and the third one green. How many choices can the first one be? We can put any one of these 20 students in the first one. So there are 20 choices. How many choices for the second one? The first position is already filled with one student, so only 19 students are left. Therefore there are 19 choices for the second one. And similarly, there are 18 choices for the third one. Since students are chosen independently, the answer is 20 times 19 times 18. Therefore, 20p3 is 20 times 19 times 18. That is multiply 3 numbers down from 20. Applying the same rule, we can know that 32p4 is multiply 4 numbers down from 32, which is 32 times 31 times 30 times 29. Therefore, npr is multiply r numbers down from n and that is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way to n minus r plus 1. Let's see how to use the calculator to calculate permutation. We can see that above the multiplication button, there's the NPR sign. We are going to calculate 6P3. So we hit 6 first. Then, the shift button. And, the multiplication button. Then, 3. And, equal. Now the display is 6P3 and the result is 120. We know 6p3 is 6 times 5 times 4. This is 120 also. So the result is good. We know npr is multiply r numbers down from n. We can also write it in factorial form. Let's multiply this fraction with the existing expression. It is equal to 1, and both the numerator and the denominator are n minus r multiply all the way to 1. If we multiply everything onto the numerator, we can see that it's actually n factorial. And the denominator is n minus r factorial. Therefore, npr is n factorial over n minus r factorial. So 20p3 is 20 factorial over 17 factorial. 32p4 is 32 factorial over 28 factorial. 50p5 is 50 factorial over 45 factorial.
NPN is called full permutation. It is equal to n factorial. That is to arrange n items altogether. In this class, we learned, permutation NPR is the number of ways to arrange R out of n different items. And order matters. NPR is multiply R numbers down from n. It is n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, times all the way down to n minus R plus 1. NPR is also equal to n factorial over n minus R factorial. Full permutation NPN is n factorial.